precisa Annyeonghaseyo, Nicolas Mida. Today we are going to talk about a very nice sexy trick that I'm going to teach you that will make your life so much easier with CSS. Now, what I want to show you is how you can avoid using reset CSS and still uh, kill all the properties that you want to kill. So usually the ones that I, that I hate the most are button and input because every time I want to make a button, so let's say I want to make a pretty button, every time I want to make a button, I have to like um, kill some properties. So let me just make a button over here. Okay, so I make this background color and I'm gonna do border radius. Uh, 10 pixels, padding, five pixels, and 10 pixels. Okay, and let's do mean width. Let's do 80, yeah, 70 pixels, my fingers. All right, all right, so it's there, let's make color, sorry. Color white, let's do font weight, 600. All right, now, as you can see here, this is, this is kind of fucked uh, because when I click, look at how bad it looks and I still didn't kill this border. I don't know if you can see the border here, but it's still it's not killed. Like it's not killed yet. So I need to kill it. Uh, so I have to go from the beginning. I have to say border, fuck, border, none. So that's okay, good. And then when I click, I have this ugly thing here. So I'm gonna select fuck that. So what I have to do is I have to come back here and I have to say button. When it's focused, outline, none. All right. But now when it's, that's okay. It should be okay. All right. All right. Now I also have to say maybe active or not, just to in case active and we're good to go. All right. And I'm good. But as you can see, it took me uh, border, none, and then focus and whatever. Now I'll have to do the same thing here for my input. If I want to style my input, I'll have to do input focus, blah, 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 uh, input active. There you go. And now it's working. But then again, I have to set shit up. Now, if I wanted to make this one beautiful, I'll have to come here. And if I do, for example, padding, five pixels, 10 pixels, uh, border radius, five pixels. There you go. Look at this ugly shit. So I have to say border none. And then I have to set the border again. Border. Uh, let's do one pixel solid and let's make a transparent zero, 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 zero point six, for example. All right. In other words, an example of the things that I don't like to do on CSS. I don't like to have to do border none. I don't have to like to do outline none. And you can call me lazy because I'm looking always for shortcuts, but I think that's what you should do when you're a programmer. Uh, look for a shortcut that makes your life easier. Don't repeat yourself. Keep it simple. Uh, so this is a problem that I have identified that I really don't fucking like because I have to do this over and over again. And it's the same thing with hello and the same thing with the list. Most of the time, I don't use the size that the browser gives me. And most of the time, I do not need this high hello on a bullet, but I want to put it on the list because it's semantically correct. So what I'm about, what I'm about to teach you, it's a property that is super cool called all. And what it does is that it just kills the default styles of any element that you put it on. Not all the styles, and of course it's CSS, so it has some bullshit issues, but it kills all the styles. So for example, if you wanted to kill the styles of the UL, what you will do will be this, and you will do all on set. And then just like that, the UL loses everything, all the styles. You can do the same thing with the H1, for example, and you will lose everything. And you can do the same thing, of course, with button, and it will just be ready for you to start adding styles to the button. And you can do the same thing with the input, like this. And it will, it will be just ready for you to start adding styles only on one line, no more with CSS, uh, with reset CSS, you wouldn't need that file. And it's, it's just fucking cool. Now, if you want to apply it to your whole document, what you can do is you can do body, fuck me, body, and you can say all the items inside of the body or on set. And there you go. No bullshit styling. It still is a button. It will be clickable, of course, depends on what you do. And it will still be hello. It's still an input, so it still works. But as you can see, everything it's ready for you to start styling only with one line of CSS, actually three lines of CSS, but still is good. So that's it for this video. I just really wanted to share this with you because it's something super cool. Can't believe I didn't see it before. I saw it on Reddit last, last week. I used it on Indie Makers and it, it fucking worked. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this kind of short mini tutorials, let me know so I can cap start making more because I have more ideas. I just don't know if you guys and girls will like to watch them. Uh, thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, eat kimchi, eat donkasa, which is fucking good. I just discovered it and it's, it's bloody amazing. And go take a shower because your ass stinks. See you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.